Hey guys, welcome back to How to DIY and Save a Dime. This is a very impromptu video, but because I'm doing this, I wanted to share this. So, I was eyeing this bad boy for a little while, and I end up finding it where someone actually put multiple of them in the wrong spot. So these are normally 30 something, and I got it for $24. Um, it was like $23.99 in the wrong spot, multiple. So you know if Walmart makes that mistake, I am jumping on it because it's not my fault that someone didn't put it in the right spot. Anyway, so the guy gave it to me and I was so excited because after taxes, I think I saved about 10 bucks, almost 10 bucks. Anywho, I am doing something that I know some of us of your old school, if you, you, you know, you was raised around a little struggle, understand that AC and central air was not given to us when we were young, everybody didn't have that, you would have had one of these bad boys, which is a box fan. Now, I got my fan on, and as you see, look at it, it looks a hot mess, it looks disgusting. Now, I started doing this side, and I'm like, whoa, I love this thing, I literally just for the first time took all of these little parts out. I have one on there right now that I'm using. Um, this one I just used for uh, sanding and chasing the sander while um, my guy was sanding the table. And these are all the other little pieces. I don't know exactly what they're all for, but it comes with this extender piece that you put on like this or that. And then you place this on there. And then it actually has the um, smaller spout for the multiple pieces and these all these little pieces here came into this little net bag which was pretty cool it has another filter that comes with it and then these are the three main components that come with it and then it also has the hook so i can put this on the garage or in the laundry room and kind of hang it up and it has its own space and so you can see how they have it hanging here right there and it is good for computers in your car. I have vacuumed my car out several times and it does amazing like the vacuum cleaners at um, the car washes. So this is all the pieces that come with it. So you can see that right there. Um, and I'm loving it. And it says like here includes 14 different accessories. So yeah, this is it and all the attachments can be attached to it like that. And I'm gonna show y'all how good this thing suctions. Like, hold on. So the fan is going. And I actually, for the other side, because the way it's easier for me to clean this side and this side is coming off really well because the dirt is more on this side. But on that side, I have to actually unscrew it to get in there because the dirt is coming in and sticking to the inner side. But let me show you how this works. It's gonna be a little loud. <laughs> Y'all see? Oh, I'm not even in the camera. Okay. I'm trying to look in the camera and do this. This is cool. Oh, I gotta put it on tighter. Hold on one second, guys. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So this stuff is like really, really, and you can, you know, go over back and forth over it to get all the messiness. And I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to get the other side. But I need y'all to see how this thing is really suctioning really well. I'm trying to stay in the camera and show you guys. I have fans all over and I also have heaters because even though I have central air, there's times when I may be hot and everybody else might be cold or vice versa. So everybody has, and if you've been rocking with me, you know I showed you, we have, um, many heaters and fans in every room so that everyone has the option to change their temperature but you better not change my thermostat i'll do that i like to keep it at like 70 um normally and then everybody can kind of do their own thing so let me show you now you see how clean it is from using this attachment and i'm getting ready to unscrew this because the front of it looks a hot mess but as i stated the way the dirt is on the front i would have to take this off which i'm getting ready to do power of editing and, and i'll be right back you can see all this nastiness i got the outside but i can't get inside so i'm about to unscrew it all right i am back i'm gonna cut this off and so yeah i'm back and so now we're gonna really get in there do this.
Now, for those who don't know, this is a wet and dry vac. So if you have a disaster where you spilled water or something like that, you can use this for that. If you guys didn't see that, wet and dry vac. That's what a shop vac is. All right, guys, so yes, I had a call come through. Yes, this is an actual wet and dry shop vac. So um, you can use that for wet items as well. You might get kids that spill stuff. You can suck up the wet item, liquid Kool-Aid punch milk off of your carpet really well. This thing sucks so good. If you can imagine a car wash vacuum cleaner, and I know you guys love them because I know us as moms, you would take that car there weekly or whatever to get it vacuumed out because the kids and stuff get spilled and stuff like that. So you would definitely love this. And it is not that big. Like you see how this is a regular box fan. The box fan is way bigger than this. So it's not really big at all. You can actually keep it in your trunk if you need it to. And if you had like one of those adapter um, things in your car, you can vacuum it but I just keep it in my laundry room garage area and I just pull it out to vacuum up my car when needed and I pull it out if I do projects in the house when needed so yeah let me finish and then show you how clean it looks let's get in here I feel like once this is done, the fan blows even better, like it's brand new. And so I'm just going in all around the edges. Cause I mean, this is dust that accumulates from around your house and all it's doing is just blowing it back in your face. And so I try to do this at least once a month. Um, or you, I used to just clean it off, like get a rag and clean it off. But now I don't really have to do that because I have a really good smaller back that I can just bring inside the house and clean it with. So I'm going in the back area up here and getting all the dust out of it. Yeah, all that dust, all up in there, all in the wires. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going in and getting it all. It's like still dusty from like up in this area. So I'm going in there. And getting that off now for the part that I really wanted to show you guys I took it off it's sitting right here in front of me see how nasty and dusty this is but I had to do it this way because look this is the way I need it facing me so I'm gonna go in and get all that dust off and then I'm gonna put it back together and my fan will be they don't like it brand new again. See all that nastiness? And this is really, you should have a regular vacuum and you should have a shop vac. If you've never seen my video, I hope I'm not too loud, but I'm trying to talk loud enough where you guys can hear me on um, my Tonico vacuum cleaner. I love it. It's a uh, chargeable vacuum cleaner that you can pull all around, the room, all around your house and don't have to worry about cords. Way cheaper than the Bissell that everybody uses. So yeah. Y'all see this? All this dirt is coming right up. Right up. Can y'all see? It's like literally sucking all this dirt up. Look at this. Let me get this area. Look at this. Y'all see how fast? And I'm not editing this. I'm just literally showing y'all. I'm trying to look through the camera so I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. But I'm trying to get it good enough where y'all can see how good this shop that works and if you need to do your blinds or whatever just add an extension cord to all this dirt right here whoop, 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 gone 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 all right so i'm gonna keep doing this i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this was very helpful let me take this off the tripod um yeah so it cleaned my fan it cleaned my fan and i'm going to continue vacuuming it and getting the little parts that i didn't get off and then that's it but this is the two hp peak um armor raw small shot back and this is all the stuff that comes with it yeah and it's a small little box you see my plant so it's really not huge but it is power 
info. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about it, leave it below. I will put a video to my Tonico vacuum cleaner, which is the one I use around the whole house. Um, so you can see that one. That one is still going strong, and that was a couple years ago. Um, and some of you already bought it and have already told me about it and how much you love it and how your carpets look clean until you start vacuuming. And you like, whoa, this thing sucks out from China. It sucks out from China. Like it pulls all the way up from China. You think your carpets look nice and clean and then you start vacuuming and that filter gets full and you're like, oh, that's one reason why I really don't like carpet, but it is what it is. But definitely my next home, I really would only like to have carpet maybe in the bedrooms, but not in the common area. So yeah, I will see you guys later.